possible extreme maximum neck crank. Okay, so I'm going to show it real quick. Okay, so let me explain what I'm doing here. This is one of the best chokes or one of the best setups I've ever come across. Uh, this is my money in the bank stuff. Uh, originally I got it from Javier Vasquez and made a little quick adjustment to it, but it's pretty much the same thing. Uh, this thing just crushes the neck, so it's pretty much impossible to resist this because it's going against the neck. If you don't tap to the neck crank, then you give a free choke up, being the guy on the bottom. So let me just go over the steps real quick. Okay, starting with our over-under. I'm going to grab near wrist control. I'm going to pin that down. Then I'm going to come up towards the top of the jaw where it meets the chin, or sorry, where it meets the neck. I'm going to slide down until my unit, which is this little piece here, okay, is a little hook here. You can feel that on yourself. This is the same thing we use for the heel hook. Okay, when that hits the chin, I'm going to turn his head over to the side. So it looks in there real nice. Anchor on his shoulder. Now I pull out that near wrist control. I'm going to push and super neck crank him here. At the same time I'm pushing this forward, I'm digging this into his chin. Okay, so it's here and here. Watch his posture become erect when I do that. See, he pops up, he gets kind of uncomfortable. Okay, so lock that in. Now I'm going to touch the top of his head and push it over my wrist. At the same time, I'm going to move my wrist in motion like, like this. Okay, so I pop that in. He gives me a free choke. Immediately grab the bicep one, two, old school sleeper, three, I put my chin over my wrist. Now I'm going to push, squeeze, count backwards from ten, nine, eight, and finish. Okay? So the secret, guys, to this one is to build as much pressure as we can on the neck. The more pressure on the neck, the easier it's going to be to give it, or the, the easier he's going to give up the choke. Okay? When he feels this pressure here, it feels like his neck is breaking, so he's going to open this up and basically give you the choke. If he doesn't, and sometimes they won't because they don't want to give up the choke, then they're just going to tap to the neck crank. Have you ever seen Shin Aoki, uh, one of his fights, he got the same, and actually a couple of his fights, he got the same choke. Okay? So I'm going to go over that again without any detail in there. Over and under, he's got the tint chin tuck, so I'm not getting any easy rear naked chokes here. Grab the near wrist, slide back, slide down my thumb until I reach my unit on my wrist. Once I hit that, I hook and turn. I grab his shoulder. Now I'm going to take out that near wrist, I'm going to push his shoulder in. Notice how he kind of freaks out, it's a lot of pressure on his neck. Grab back as far as you can. Now we come up push the top of the head, at the same time I'm going to jam my unit into his jaw here, push, pop, okay, immediately he gives that up, it's a lot of pressure, he doesn't like that at all, now from here, look at my hands are set up, one, grab the bicep, two, slide behind the neck at the old school sleeper hold, chin over the wrist, and finish, okay, now a lot of guys are saying, oh but Alder, Alder, don't we do the knuckles to the back of the neck? Yeah, we do that choke too, but sometimes you got to give it up to uh, Jake the Snake and adorable Adrian Adonis and go for the old school sleeper hole. Okay, it's important. Uh, you got to know your roots. Okay, if you don't know where you came from, you don't know where you're going. So make sure you throw that in there. All right, guys. Thanks for stopping by, and I hope that helps. Namaste.